What's up trainers? It's your boy Adrizzy back again with another tabletop video for you. Today it's actually pretty special. We have trainer on the left, Johnny on the right. I believe trainer just won that coin flip. He chose to go first. Trainer is playing Volcanion GX uh, with Salan Salazzle GX added into it. Turtonator and one ho -Oh, I believe. I do believe he plays ho -Oh. Johnny is playing his Tapu Bula list. I do not think he has any Burning Shadow cards in this deck as of right now. I do see that Trainer, I think, has a Baby Volcanion in the active. And I believe I saw that Johnny had an Oricorio simply for the Vespaquin matchup. And yep, flips it over. It is an Oricorio. And I was correct about Trainer's cards as well. He actually has a benched uh, Volcanion EX, which is going to help him out when he wants to steam up. He has that Salandit on the bench as well. I wonder if we're going to see Salazzle GX uh, put in some work. So, Trainer right away ends. I'm not sure how good of a start Johnny had. Uh, Trainer has a decent start. He has a Pokemon on the bench. He already has that energy attached to the Volcanion so he can Power Heater. Not this turn, but the next one. And I'm guessing that Trainer had to switch up his strategy because the ideal strategy for him is to grab a Lele, play it down, Wonder Tag for Kiawe, and then start adding energies right away since it is his first turn he can put down he can put down as many energies as he, i mean not as many but four four is a lot especially in one turn uh but he chose to go with the n his hand must have not been so great so let's see what they both grab off of this n both drawing six cards trainer plays down that turtonator gx okay so that turtonator can do some damage as well it is a scary card Especially with that Shell Trap attack for a DCE or two Fire Energies as Aaron would play it down. It only does 20, but if you Steam up, you can do 30 more. And if it gets attacked in the next turn, you can put 8 damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. So you can quickly see how that would rack up. So Johnny here, Lysanders, the bench to land it. Probably to thinning out his uh, hand. He grabs a Shaman. I do see a Grass Energy, but he does not have the Tapu Bulu GX to be able to attach to, nor do I see a Formantis so he can start evolving into the Lorantis promo with the Sunny Day ability that allows your Grass or Fire, Johnny doesn't have Fire in this case, uh, Pokemon do 20 more damage to your opponent's Pokemon. So that quickly adds up as well for his Tapu Bulu. Uh, he's having a hard time getting it out right now though, so he was just forced to pass I believe. Now Trainer drew for turn and he's just deciding on what to do. He does attach that float stone to the Salandit. I'm sure you guys saw that. Now deciding what the next play is. So he is going to retreat into the baby Volcanion. Um, see if he could probably power heater. So he attaches from hand onto the Turtonator. And I see a stadium. That might be Brooklyn Hill allowing him to pull out another Volcanion. Right now, he is just asking how many cards in Johnny's hand, I believe. Okay, so he's Ultra Balling, discarding that Kukui. And the Brooklyn Hill, Lele, Wonder Tag right away for Sycamore. Okay. Playing Sycamore, I believe, he because he hasn't played a supporter this turn. He played an end last turn. He has one card in his hand. I couldn't quite see what it was. So that's actually a pretty cool uh, pro play from Trainer. Probably trying to grab some more energy. That way he's able to discard it with Steam Up and then just reattach it onto his Salazzle or Turtonator, I would say. So I do see two energies, maybe three. Yep, I think he has three energies in hand. We're going to have... Oh, a Max Elixir as well. Max Elixir is such a good card. You know, you look at the top six cards of your deck. And if you see an energy, you can attach it to one of your benched basic Pokemon. Right there, unfortunately, Trainer did miss. Although his energy count is pretty high. I know he's running at least 12 fire basic energies. So he steams up once. Now Power Heater is doing 50. And he's going to Power Heater, grabbing one energy and attaching it to Turtonator GX, who's ready to now do that Shell Trap attack. Johnny Sycamore is a pretty big hand. I saw nothing but Trainer's. Probably a bunch of dead cards for the current situation. He probably couldn't use any of them, so he's going to get a fresh 7. Hopefully he can start setting up a little bit. I see a Bulu, I believe. No, that's actually a Lorantis Full Art. So he must play at least one Lorantis Full Art, and he passes. Ouch. Okay, so Trainer did draw into another Lele, but he does not have the bench space because of the Pseudo Wudo. 
So he attaches from hand onto the benched Turdinate. Come on, Turner, you're playing with me. Okay. <laughs> All right, Turdinator GX. He does steam up for with the bench Volcanion, so he could power heater for another 50 and reattach that fire energy onto one of his bench Pokemon. But he still has something to do. Actually, yep, he does. Knocks out the Oracorio, takes one prize. Now Johnny promotes the bench Shaman. He only has a pseudo Wudo, which is still maybe helping him a little bit with uh, trainers bench space uh, that explosive start he had in the beginning like Johnny Lysander's again so he, we saw him play the sick seeker for the Lysander bringing out the Lele discarding a full art Lorantis GX and a second via seeker he's gonna grab a Pokemon now I wouldn't bring up a Lele see okay so he brings up the Tapu Bulu GX the reason I wouldn't grab a Lele is you can wonder tag but you can't use that supporter that turn so it'd be wasting an ultra ball Johnny needs to worry about setting up right now, so he brings up, I mean, not brings up, but he finds the Bulu GX in his deck, attaches the Fighting Fury Belt, Shaman, attaches Floatstone, and he passes. So he's leaving the Shaman up there, hoping that Trainer cannot knock it out this turn, because he's going to be down three prizes to his six. Trainer drew for turn, checking his discard, seeing what exactly he needs to do to get this Lele out. The good thing is that it's only a one energy retreat cost, so that isn't detrimental. Okay, so trainer's knocking out Johnny's cards. <laughs> Attaches the float stone, brings up that Turtonator GX, promoting into the active. It is able to use its attack, Bright Flame, which does 160 damage base, and you have to discard two energy. So he does that, knocking out that Shaman. So now. Johnny's in a really, really bad spot because he has no way of accelerating energy onto this Tapu Bulu. But let's see if he can actually get out of it. He's checking his discard, seeing what he's discarded already. I know he discarded a bunch of stuff with that previous Sycamore. So he's just checking his discard, deciding, debating. Okay, so he's going to play the Lele. Wonder Tag ability for an N. So bringing the trainer deck back down to three cards. Now Johnny needs to do something and he needs to do it fast. Uh... Trainer can still use his GX attack. Turnator's GX attack, I should say, which is Nitro Tank. You attach five energy cards from your discard pile onto your Pokemon in any way you'd like. That would allow him to have any Pokemon ready to go, ready to attack, leaving Johnny defenseless. So they're just hoping to see... Well, Johnny's hoping to grab something useful. Trainer's just hoping to maybe grab a Seeker or a Sycamore to help him get out of these uh, three cards. So they both cut for deck. Let's see, Trainer. Yeah, he's hiding what he got. Johnny, I can't see from this angle as well. Uh, I see a Grass Energy and a Formantis, I believe. And another Grass Energy. So there's a Grass Energy and the Formantis he was needing. He places it quickly places down. So he did find another Bulu to Formantis. Attaching the Grass Energy onto the active Tapu Bulu GX. Now it's not much, but he sure can attack for 30 with Horn Attack. Oh, actually 40 with that fighting fury belt so yeah he managed to add 40 damage to that turtonator gx if he can find two lorantis promos that's going to quickly start adding up now we did see that trainer evolved his salandit on into salazzle gx he just checked his discard pile deciding what exactly he wants to do that top of bulu is mean it has 220 hp thanks to that fighting fury belt Right now, Trainer is deciding to play, I believe that's a Kiawe. Let me see. I really, yeah, and it is a Kiawe. So he's debating on playing that Kiawe, grabbing four more energies from his deck and attaching him to one Pokemon. He's going to check the discard pile once again to see. Maybe making counts. I do see three basic fire energies in the discard. So he plays Rizia Seeker instead for the Sycamore, grabbing a Max Elixir. I see another Sycamore. A Volcanion GX EX that he can't play because of that pseudo Woodo attack. He attaches from hand onto the benched Salazzle GX. Here I'm thinking that Trainer can probably attach to that Turtonator. Actually, no, I just realized he did play the fire energy from hand onto that Salazzle GX. So maybe he can Nitro Tank GX? I think that's what he's doing. Yep, flips over the GX marker, does Nitro Tank GX, which allows him to do up to five. Uh, basic fire energies from your discard attached to one of your Pokemon. 
and he chooses to do it to the bench Volcanon EX which can hit for 160 with Volcanic Heat so he's just setting up another uh, basic attacker in case this Tabu Bulu comes in clutch knocks out this uh, Turtonator so Johnny's turn deciding on what to do he plays a Pokemon fan club so he is gonna be grabbing two more basic Pokemon this is actually an interesting play I wonder what he's gonna grab he already has five bench spots so he grabs a Tapu Bulu and that's it he starts shuffling so he might have just been trying to thin out his deck he does not want to draw into it again I can't tell what his other card is in his hand he has a Bulu but he can't play it down so maybe he's just gonna have a third one ready to go in case one of his Bulus get knocked out now we do see the horn attack for another 40 putting him at 80 damage trainer do for a turn I believe that was an ultra ball my eyes are deceiving me probably these guys are pretty good at hiding their cards even from the commentator trainer just deciding to see if he wants to put down that fire energy I'm guessing onto Turtonator now that's gonna allow him to attack with shell trap but uh, he might not have the energy I do see the end and he decides to play N even if it's gonna bring down his hand size to three Johnny's still at six so that's still gonna help him out Johnny was down to one card I believe now he did shuffle back that Tapu Bulu GX which he searched with that Pokemon fan club so that's gonna be interesting to see um, what exactly he's gonna do if he can find some Lorantis promos from this end that'll really help him out especially because he only needs one more energy onto that Tapu Bulu to start hitting for nature's judgment which does 120 damage or you can discard all energy and you do 60 more damage and that's not including the Lorantis promos if he happens to get some down so he's just thinking uh, we see trainer attached to finding fury belt and decides to pass wow so Johnny drew for turn he max elixirs hopefully he can grab some energy Ooh, the last card what a clutch <laughs> clutch play the last card gives him that grass energy to play onto the bench to Bulu he finds a third one from hand so now he can hit for nature's judgment or he can even do the GX attack which is Tapu Wilderness I believe and that is 150 damage and he gets to heal off all damage from that Bulu so he finds that Lorantis promo with that Ultra Ball. He did discard a Tapu Bulu GX, however. So I'm guessing he's ready to use Tapu Wilderness to heal off all damage. So he has two Bulu GX ready to go in a turn or two. Just gonna see, he has two cards in his hand. Ask Trainer. <laughs> he's like forcing him to cut. Trainer does it really slowly. He's checking the Fighting Fury belt. So right now, if he does not discard all energy, he's doing 120 base. 10 more which is 130 for the fighting free belt and then 20 more for that Lorantis promo so he's doing 150 if he chooses to Johnny is making a decision seeing if he wants to knock out this Turtonator GX which he can I believe but that just means trainer brings up one of his uh, ready to go Pokemon whether it be Salazzo GX or that Volcanion EX as well with that fighting free belt ready to hit for 160 170 with the fighting free belt He's just making the decision, thinking long and hard, maybe a little bit too long. Come on, Johnny. Let's beat this game. You were slow playing, my friend. Just knock it out. I'm just kidding, guys. It's actually really tough, you know, taking a knockout and then having to worry about the next Pokemon that's already stacked on the energy, ready to go. So here we see him Sycamore, the Lysander, I believe. So he was deciding. He had a Lysander in his hand. Wanted to see if he should bring something up and take a knockout. But uh, he decided to sick him more. We do see the Ultra Ball. He might be going for that second Lorantis promo. Adding another 20 damage. So now Nature's Judgment will be hitting for 170. Hopefully it's not prized. Nope, it's not. So he evolves right now. Plays it down. Evolves right away. It's doing that extra 20. And Trainer is still stuck at 44 bench Pokemon. Thanks to that pseudo Wudo. Johnny's deck is running really thin though. He's played a couple of Sycamores, Ultra Balls. Uh, he's just checking his discard, making sure that nothing that he needs is... Okay, so he's grabbing a Lysander with the VF Seeker. He's probably thinking he's going to get in, so he just wants to shuffle it back into his deck if he needs to. Or he's preparing for the next turn, which he took out that knockout like I said he would. Trainer brings up the Lele with the Floatstone. 
plays Max Elixir, finds it on the first card, or second card that was. Puts it down onto the Salazzle GX. So now the Salazzle GX has two fire energies attached. And so now he can retreat that Lele into either Pokemon. He could even do the Volcanion, the baby Volcanion, and start power heating again if he's willing to let go of another single prize. Now we're just waiting. He shuffled his deck. Johnny's going to cut. So now, let's see. He has, I see a field blow, I believe, in a, and a an Ultra Ball. Oh no, that was Brooklyn Hill. Um, not sure why he was just threw it into the discard. I'm guessing that he was probably thinking he played it. Oh, he played it, put, put it down to play it, and then was going to search for a another Pokemon. He does have that extra bench space. But... Let's see. Did he pass? I saw a hand gesture. He's probably... No. He's going to retreat into the Baby Volcanion. And he's going to Power Heater. He only has one energy in the discard. I wonder who he's going to attach to. And it's a Lele. Okay, so he might be attacking with Lele as well. Now Johnny drew for turn. Checking his bench. His bench is full. Okay, so he does have a Grass Energy, which he is playing down onto the benched. Tapu Bulu GX, getting that Pokemon ready just in case the active gets knocked out. He still has the two Lorantis promos, adding that extra 40 damage, which is no joke. And he does have that Lysander that he secret for the previous turn. Trainer could not end him, so right now he is doing just doing calculations. I believe it would be a knockout since he has three energies onto the Tapu Bulu GX. So he's deciding whether he wants to knock out the baby Volcanion or maybe deciding who he wants to go for. So he goes for the bench Volcanion, even though it is at 220 HP with that Fighting Fury belt. So now Johnny can actually do 160 if he chooses. Let's see, so he's doing... Oh yeah, so he is discarding all energy. That puts him at 180 base. He does 10 more, 190 with that Fighting Fury belt. 40 puts it at 230 10 more than that HP on that Volcanion EX that was a great play he is down to two prizes trainer is down to three he brings up the Lele with the float stone let's see what he's gonna grab he grabs another Lele wonder tag for Sycamore now is that a hand of zero it might be a hand of zero guys trainer over here making the pro plays he probably did not like losing that Volcanion, especially with three energies on it. And on top of that, he used Turnator's GX to supply that Volcanion EX with energy. So now we see, I see two or three fire energies, but he can't steam up anymore as he doesn't have a Volcanion EX. Uh, we see a Lysander, a Seeker, some energy. Right now deciding what his best move is. I do see him single out that fire energy. He might attach it to the Lele. So now he's just thinking. Attaching it to... Okay, the baby Volcanion. Maybe trying to power him up and use the steam artillery for 100 base damage. We see the retreat. Okay. And the power heater. Grabbing two cards. Two fire cards at that. I'm sorry. And he's going to attach them to one to Lele. Okay, one to each Lele. So now the Lele with the Flowstone is ready to attack. Johnny, we see the Max Elixir. Uh-oh. <laughs> Trainer should put out his hand, ready to shake his hand for game. But Johnny needs a way to retreat. If he does, if he cannot retreat, Trainer has one more turn. So Johnny is shuffling after that Max Elixir. That Tapu Bulu on the bench is ready to go, ready to knock out. Johnny only needs a Lysander and he needs to retreat. He attaches the energy from hand to be clear. Let's see if we can get it. Does he have anything else that will help him? Actually, he might not. So he only attacks with Horn Attack for 80 damage, I believe. So Trainer has one more shot to take something down. Hopefully, it's that bench top of Bulu GX that's ready to go. Take it out, and then you're back in business with one prize card left. So we see the Ultra Ball, Kiawe, 
and I believe that was a Lysander. I can't really tell. He's second guessing. Yep, it was a Lysander. So he's ultra balling for the Volcanion EX. If he has an energy, which I think he does in his hand, he can steam up, doing some more damage. And he, I think he has a seeker for that Lysander. Okay, so we see, do see the Floatstone. Okay, yep. So he brings up the Tapu Bulu GX, like I said. The one that's powered up. He retreats into Salazzle GX that has two energies ready to go. He steams up for an additional 30. So he did Diabolical Claws, which does 150. Johnny is reading the text. He can't believe it. And Diabolical Claws does 50 times the amount of prizes you have taken. Trainer has took three prior to that attack. That's 150. The steam up does 30 more for an perfect 180 damage so now johnny brings up the tapu lele that was benched he chose not to bring up the bulu damage although he still has his gx attack which allows him to heal it uh we're just gonna see what he wants to do he might have left it in the benched spot so he can max elixir that's probably the thing i would do max elixir and then uh find an energy to retreat or float stone if he has another one checking discard to see what resources he's already given up so now Johnny is in a big pickle because Salazzle can probably take another hit and also hit back for 250 damage since the trainer has already taken 5 price cards. So Johnny is going to discard once again trying to see a way out of this. Maybe another Lysander for that bench for Canyon with no energies. Forcing trainer to find a flow stone or more energies to retreat. So now we see Johnny attaching a Grass Energy onto this Tapu Bulu GX. Now he just needs to get that Lele out of the active. Going through his hand, deciding what exactly he needs to do. Ultra Ball for... Let's see. Okay, so he's discarding a Lele as well. And a VS Seeker, that's interesting. Okay, I would think at this moment VS Seekers are crucial, but he must be doing something that I don't see. So he's gonna shuffle, he fails that search. Unless he has a Shaman in his hand and he wants to draw into something. So he offers his deck for Trainer to cut. Trainer does. God, this this match is crazy, guys. It can literally go either way right now. So we see a float stone. He does have a float stone. He has a float stone. That Bulu has two energies on it. We see the rescue stretcher. It might be for a shaman for more draw power, but I don't see what else he can grab right now. Let's see. Okay, so we see the shaman. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we see a field blower knocking out. Let's see, it must be the two, yeah, the two tools. The trainer has three, so he, he was asking Johnny, which two tools would you like me to remove? And, oh, Johnny looks frustrated. And I feel your pain, man. So he's checking his discard once again, seeing if there's anything that can help him, anything that he can see that might still be in his deck. So here we see Johnny attack for 80. That means the game goes to trainer, he draws his card and just attacks for that 250 damage, taking his last prize card was an N. Compared to Johnny's who had a four mantis and a basic grass energy. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this tabletop match. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think. Go ace on that like button as well. It really helps out these videos, the channel in general. And remember guys, train on.